All right, wanted to take a quick minute and check in this Monday afternoon and just share with you what I'm keeping my eyes on these days. And of course, it has everything to do with silver. It seems like silver and everything silver news related really catches my attention these days. So I have an article, a brief little article I want to share with you from fellow RTD guest Jim Rogers, who I'm hoping to have on the show in the next couple weeks or so, just to share more of his insights and to see what he's keeping his eye on outside of silver, just because it's good to speak with the people who are actually well-connected and informed on how to navigate these waters that we're living in nowadays. But I think it's very crucial and extremely important in this current environment to really pay attention to that excite you and interest you for a variety of reasons. One being, it's something that can further encourage and keep your hopes up in this current environment. And two, there's always opportunities where the mainstream narrative does not go. And of course, silver and gold in particular being true, tried and tested monetary mediums that happen to be the central bank's darlings, but not the mainstream media in our own country. I wonder why. But nevertheless, I'm not one to really focus on price action all that much other than just seeing the daily ebbs and flow of things just so I can allocate capital to a dollar cost averaging into it and taking advantage of the manipulation as I always talk about. But as of lately, the last couple of weeks because of the RTD Silver team, I'm going to be highlighting more research and more analysis on silver just because we're just over halfway through the year. And as I've stated before, the goal of mine is to make sure that I continue to educate and try to reach the message on the rethink of the dollar concept. And a part of the solution and strategies people should definitely have has a lot to do with silver because it is the last monetary metal that has not even come close to reaching its all time high. And between now and the time that happens, it could be weeks, months, or even years, but it provides me an opportunity to continue to educate the masses in hopes of reaching just one new person a day to begin rethinking the dollar and taking that journey down a rabbit hole towards understanding what I consider to be monetary literacy. And so as you can see directly above my head here, last week ended with retesting that 3140 or 50 or so to send everybody into the weekend on a more optimistic note that perhaps something was changing with the paper manipulation game. But obviously, as we can see on the screen here, this Monday morning when markets opened, they managed to flood the gates with more futures contracts and to get it down and market close at about $30.80 which is above the $30 mark. But then again, it's just the beginning of the week. And so once again, keeping an eye on the flows of the daily price action, so it affords me more entry points to acquire a few more ounces. But real quick, I wanted to share with you the article that I came across highlighting some comments from Jim Rogers, who I've had a chance to connect with several times. And speaking of which, a lot of the times we do connect, he does a good job of educating on it. And in his video here, he shared a lot of his insights on market conditions well before the global health shutdown. And then in particular, he talked about pensions and how people should really be paying attention to their retirement portfolios, given the things that was brewing back then. And then the last time we connected was right at the beginning of the COVID phase. And this video here got a lot of people's attention. I think it got about 18,000 views. And he was kind of hinting on the fact that the global crisis, referring to the banks and the over indebtedness of all nations, has already changed everything. So I'm sure the next time we connect, he's going to have an even more pessimistic viewpoint on where we're at at that current time. So definitely, if you guys want to hear from Jim, and I'll probably do a RT Q&A where I have a chance for you guys to ask some questions. Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification, make sure you follow so you'll know when he's on the show so you can actually get your questions answered if, if you want to. But the article I'm referring to, as you can see here, is called Buying Silver Now, A Good Investment by Jim Rogers. And it's come from an interview he had with Sputnik Magazine, which of course is a Russian news source. But here, the Sinara Daily is a Malaysian news source. And since Jim lives in the Asian region. He's often quoted and interviewed on a lot of Asian news sources. So you got to go looking at international news to actually get a hold of this type of information where a news source is willing to call out or single out and highlight silver in a headline. But sweet and simple here, I'll just run through some of the details and just highlight some of the things he shared. It's a short article, so it's not too long. But it says here, buying silver now is a better investment than gold, while China and Uzbekistan remains attractive countries for investments at the moment. Legendary American investor Jim Rogers was Sputnik. He's quoted as saying, I would do, what I try to do is find things that are down and depressed. I don't like when everybody is at an all-time high. I don't like investing like that, Roger said. If you look around the world, most markets are making new highs. China's down, and so I'm looking at China. I have been buying shares in Uzbekistan because they're making very good changes. But other than Uzbekistan and China, nearly all markets are going up. I don't like to buy when everything is going up, Roger said. I want to buy some more silver soon, he said. He says, I have some gold, but I buy more gold too. If I were to buy one today, I will buy silver because you know silver is cheaper. I think it's near its all-time high, so I would prefer to buy silver now. I bought some silver yesterday, and I hope to buy some more if they go down. Between silver and gold, silver is the best right now, he said. And so short and simple, Jim putting his money where his mouth is and actually getting his weight up. And he mentions that silver is being one of his preferred buys at this current moment because of how cheap it is. And it's good to say he's allocating six, seven figures at a time, which most people can't do. But then again, we don't have to buy truckloads of silver or gold just because 99.99% of people have none whatsoever. And so all it takes is a few hundred ounces ounces at best of anything to put you in the top 0.01% of the population. And all that does is ensure you against the fiat currency destruction at the end of the day from a monetary standpoint. But the reason I want to share this is just because if Jim Rogers was talking about buying silver, whenever it goes down, and he's hoping it goes down even further so he can buy more of it, 
that's just a reminder that if the billionaires or high net hundred millionaires are doing it on a regular basis, then clearly there's opportunity there that people should be paying attention to. So once again, just my attempt to try to shine more light on the importance of owning silver and gold. And they present people with opportunities outside of the education that I enjoy doing because it keeps me plugged in and it keeps my eyes tuned in to what's happening out in the international scene. And so as always, if you have interest in learning about how to automate your silver, that's when we get into the RTD Silver Team, where the whole goal is to help a thousand households automate their silver, the dollar cost average in, all the way from something as small as an ounce to 10 ounces on a monthly rotating cycle where you can have your metal come in, not worry about it. And then the business side of things is where you can actually take your information that's a part of the team and share it with others so they can also get their weight up. And by adding value to other people, you can be rewarded for your efforts. And so it's what I would consider a perfect business model for people that are more entrepreneurial minded and either want a side hustle or something they can go full steam ahead in to help other people. And in doing so, you're protecting and preserving yourself against your own fiat currency. So if you want to find out more, feel free to click the link in the description or just reach out to me via email and I can answer questions. But then again, that's one of many ways that people can make sure they continue to get their weight up. And so if you haven't, consider it. But if not, no big deal. As long as you continue to educate yourself and share this information so other people can be informed, it's all fine and good. Then also as an affiliate and having multiple sources where I get my medals from i want to share with you this opportunity here to get this 2024 donald trump presidential medal that's another little interesting piece or a numismatic however you want to look at it and add to your stack so if you guys are interested in finding out more about that i include a link down below in the description so you can take a look at it and grab you a couple just something pretty to look at and it has nothing to do with the, the former president or upcoming president on the front it's all about the chemical composition which is four nines silver which to me speaks louder than any presidential candidate could at this current moment. But anyway, that's just something that's available for you guys if you're interested. So once again, just bring us some more information in reference to silver. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did hit that thumbs up, share this, follow, and subscribe so you stay plugged in on opportunities as they come up, as well as information as they come across it. So other than that, catch you guys later.